again. First, I want to apologize to all my wonderful subscribers and readers out there for having uh, deleted the first video that I'm doing on this subject. Uh, so the sound was poor and the video was so poor, so I thought I would do it all right, deleted the first one. Anyway, let's start at the beginning. Let's start all over again. I came across this uh, fact sheet from the Department of Veterans Affairs. Uh, all the figures I'm going to mention are as of November 2008. What I'm going to do is read off the different wars, indicate how many service members there were in each war, United States service members, and how many are still living, how many of the veterans are still living. In World War I, There were 4,735,000 service members. Now, the living veterans of World War I is exactly one. Korean War, uh, 1950 to 1953, there were 5,700,000 20 service members, living veterans 2,307,000, the Vietnam War 8,744,000 total service members, living members 7,125,000. Uh, Desert Shield or Desert Storm from 1990 to 1991. Uh, worldwide, there were 2,322,000 service members and living veterans, 2,269,000. Uh, I didn't mention the dates of the uh, Vietnam War, that was 1964 to 1975. Now we get down to uh, World War II, and the numbers are rather sad, it's surprising, it's shocking. I don't know how to describe this, but in World War II there were 16,112,000 service members. U.S. service members. Of the 16,112,000, only 2,306,000 survived. Or to put it in approximate terms, approximately 16 million service members in World War II, approximately 2 million three hundred and six thousand living veterans. If my math is correct, it means that of every eight service members of World War II, only one veteran is still living. I think I'm speechless. Amazing number. Veterans are dying, World War II veterans are dying at a rate of approximately 1,100 a day. So, what conclusions can we come to? Number one, we can't run away from our ages. can't run away from the facts. 
uh, we are all mortal. And so I suggest we pay tribute to our members, to the living members, and we pay tribute and mourn for all the millions of our veterans who have passed away. It reminds me of the words of uh, General MacArthur when he spoke before the Congress. He said, old soldiers never die. They just 